Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is a big video. I haven't done a video concerning ABBA or any ABBA topics in a while, so I thought I'd return with a big one today. I'm going to be unboxing the highly anticipated, long-awaited Carl Magnus Palm book ABBA on record, which is newly out this week. I'm so, so excited to have this book. I've read the complete recording sessions, the original version. I unfortunately missed out on getting the revised edition, but I have heard uh, rumours from Carl Magnus Palm himself that we will be getting a reprint of that book in the not so distant future. Uh, so do look out for that, that's going to be coming very very soon hopefully um, and hopefully I'll be able to add that to my collection as well. Of course the ebook is still available but I don't yet have the hardcover book so I'm going to wait for that to be reprinted. So hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on one of them as well. But the topic we're talking about today is ABBA on record. So what is ABBA on record? It's the companion book to the complete recording session. So it's the story of ABBA's music once it had left the studio. So once the packaging was being designed, when the record companies handled it, production and such things. But of course, as well, we're getting the complete recording sessions version of Voyage, which is, I think, the bit everyone is most excited for in this book. Of course, I'm so excited to read the whole book. I love graphic design from, you know, maybe seeing some of my videos, the style I do them, the thumbnails and such things. You might have an idea that I do enjoy doing graphic design and such things. So I'm so, so excited for this book. But of course, myself, along with many, many other ABBA fans, um, and just general fans in the world as well, of uh, just music, I think we'll find this book interesting to get that dive into the Voyage Sessions in the same kind of diary format that we had in the complete recording sessions. So let's not waste any more time. Let's open it up. I'm so, 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 so excited to have this. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, it's come all the way from Sweden. In fact, I was tracking it on UPS, and yesterday, the 14th of March, it was leaving the facility in Germany. It's come from Sweden. It was in Germany at the sorting facility at 2 a.m. yesterday, and by 2 p.m. it was here in the UK. So can't complain about the service, um, but oh my goodness, I'm so excited to open this up. So let's get into it. Oh, here it is, here it is. Okay, we've got a bit of bubble wrap. Got a little bit of a, an invoice thing there. Oh, here it is. Oh, look at this. Absolutely fabulous. Absolutely amazing. Isn't that fantastic? ABBA on record, packaged, promoted, reviewed by Carl Magnus Palm. There you go. They have a side spine. And the photo on the back is beautiful. And of course, this is a hardcover book, so this is a dust cover. So let's have a look underneath to see what we have. Uh, so before we take a look at the book, let's take the dust cover off. Oh my goodness, this is fantastic quality. Fantastic. So it looks like it's just a plain black hardcover with this, with that on there, de-embossed. So there you go, the spine text is the same. CMP text, self-published by Carl Magnus Palm. And the, um, he, was, he, he was asking questions, answering questions on Instagram, should I say, um, about the book and people were saying... Uh, is it better to do it self-published or did you prefer working with publishers in the past? Um, and he, he says he prefers to do the, the self-publishing thing um, just because to make uh, less copies of the book to a, an, to a smaller audience so you've got a more, I would say, more of a, a, di um, a devoted audience to, to this book rather than a wider audience so it's not going to concern the fans of ABBA who found it through Mamma Mia and aren't too big of an ABBA fan. They're not going, it's not going to be like Bright Lights, Dark Shadows, where it, it appeals to a wider audience. This is for very much the, the die-hard fans such as ourselves. So I'm so, so excited to have a look at this. Um, and like I said, it just looks fantastic, feels fantastic already. The print quality feels really, really classy. I love the cover artwork with that lovely photo of them from 1977. Um, all... Fabulous so far. I'm absolutely loving it. So I will take the dust cover off just because it's easier to uh, go through the book if it's not on there. It's got it's got the dedication and the signature there. Um, Abba on record. Beautiful. Contents. Let's have a look at the contents. What have we got? Uh, all ingredients necessary. So it goes chronologically through uh, through the book, which is really really nice. 
now and then combined 2017 to 2021 of course that's the lyric from don't shut me down so i'm assuming that's the voyage section and also i forgot to mention we do have the part of the michael b tretto tapes which i'm assuming is following the same format as the complete recording sessions that'll be great to read as well um, abba live and um uncensored i would say and very much in the vein of abba undeleted uh, these michael b tretto tapes so anyway we've got the introduction here uh, really really nice okay so now we get on to the first chapter all ingredients necessary 1972 so we start at the very very beginning with people need love and you can see the artwork there so i'm not i'm just i'm going to give you a, a quick flick through because obviously i don't want to show you every page and uh, some trade ads and such things promotional material really really nice moving on to 1973 and this, this book features plenty of news articles, but it also features interviews with um, various graphic designers who worked on the ABBA albums and singles. Um, and it, it, apparently some of them have never really been extensively interviewed on their work for ABBA albums or with ABBA before. So that's, it's nice to be able to finally have something of such a document. I mean, ABBA the scrapbook goes into some detail of packaging and such things a great book out of the scrapbook if you haven't already got that but i feel like this is the like i said it's the companion to the complete recording sessions so it's going to be the absolute definitive version of what we have oh fab fantastic some photos from the day of the uh abba cover shoot for the self-titled album that's really nice obviously you've got the parody by that other swedish band So we've got um, chart positions, a couple of uh, schedule things, and we've got some international artworks which are really, really nice there. You've got a Swedish one on top there, the one probably most people are familiar with. And of course here in the UK they had the epic labels, them yellow epic labels, and then later to the blue ones with the, the fancy epic writing. So I think you get a good idea of what the book is so far. So let's go back, well let's go forward should I say. And let's have a look at the voyage sessions. So, go back in time, go back in time. Oh, that's nice. I just saw that at the end. You've even got a little bit of uh, notes on the deluxe edition releases. And even going up to 2014, the release of Live at Wembley Arena. That's not something I ever considered would be in here, to be honest. So that's nice to have that there. Um, but here we go. Now and then combined... 2017 to 2021 so this is the beginning of the voyage recording sessions on the 24th of may 2017 mono music studio transfer of files so i still have faith in you and don't shut me down uh, so i'm so excited to read this i can't believe we've got an, a deep dive into the voyage sessions something i thought we'd have to wait a long long time for um, so to have it so soon, absolutely brilliant. So like I say, it's following the um, the diary format of uh, the uh, complete recording sessions. Oh, I just, I just clicked on this page here. Um, 5th of April and the 13th of May 2019, recording I Can Be That Woman, Bumblebee, Hit By A Train and an early version of Ode To Freedom. So Hit By A Train is, of course, one of the two songs that was left off Voyage. Um, so I can't wait to read about that. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to hear that song. Um, but yeah, absolutely brilliant. Really, really nice photos. Again, you've got that photo we're all, we've all seen plenty of times inside the studio. So yeah, can't wait to get my teeth into this. Really, 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 really nice. Let's see, 9th and 11th of June, recording Ode to Freedom. So wow, they, were, they weren't even done finished recording the album until June 2021. Wow, and the album was out in November of that year. That is crazy to think they were working so, so far up to the announcement date of uh, Voyage in 26th of April 2021. It's barely any time at all. So anyway... I'm guessing this is now going back to looking at the artworks and such things. 
So uh, we got this photo that we all saw. We got a postcard of it in the vinyl, and you got it as a, a photo, like the middle sheet of um, the booklet in the CD. Um, and it was quite a confusing photo. Um, so I've just I'm just reading it here. Uh, we're not too sure about what what the meaning behind it was. Of course, they're all wearing motion capture helmets. Is it something to do with Voyage? Is it in the Voyage concert? Is it part of the video montages? Um, but let's have a look. Um, in Johan Rank's photograph, as included in the Voyage album packages, all four members are wearing facial recognition contraptions on their head as part of converting the members to digital versions of themselves. Presumably the equipment we see in the photograph was the one used by Pulse Evolution as it looks markedly different from the full body costumes they wore when they were filmed by L ILM in 2020. As to the reason Bailey Walsh chose to include this black and white photograph in the album packaging rather than one of his own 2020 colour photographs showing the ABBA members in their motion capture suits and also in their regular clothes, he knew that his own pictures were going to be used in the general ABBA Voyage promotion and also thought that the rank photo would provide a welcome contrast to the artifice of the other images. The inclusion of the photograph in the overall artwork posed a bit of a problem in terms of where to put it. It felt right to go in the CD booklet, says Bailey Walsh. It didn't feel right on the cover. I tried it in a few places. I thought it's such a nice photo, but it just seemed to work best in the booklet. Okay, so it's 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 a strange one, really. Um, it doesn't really explain the meaning behind it. Of course, I can't judge it off that because that's only a very very small extract of a very big chapter. Um, so I can't. I just can't wait to get my teeth into this. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Um, so that's the end of the voyage chapter on page three seven five, and then we get the Michael B. Tretto tapes. Um, so like I say, these are live tapes in the sense that. They were running on the side, probably presumably in the um, mixing room, in the control room. Um, so I'm assuming this is like uh, hearing both the feed of what's coming through from inside the studio and also what's going on in the side. So Benny and Bjorn talking and such things, um, and then Agnetta and Frieda coming in to like do notes and figure out arrangements and such things like that. Um, so I'm I'm really excited to read that as well. Um, because it just gives a further insight, I think, to um, to what what was going on inside the studio. Because inside the studio, up until Voyage in 2021, is probably um, the least documented part of ABBA's history. Because uh, there was only one time when cameras, film cameras were allowed into the studio. And of course, that's the famous footage of them recording Dancing Queen in 1975. Um... So it's it's great to have this. It's great that uh, Michael B. Tretto is willing to give these uh, give Carl Magnus Palm access to these to write about in his book. So I can't wait to get my teeth into this. This is going to be absolutely fantastic. So go and get your copy of Avaron Record. I hope you all enjoyed watching this unboxing, this brief dive into the book. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. Um, you know, Carl Magnus Palm never disappoints. And uh, once I've read it, I'll give you a little review as well. So thank you all for watching, and see you all next time.